Hi there, Galila Sinatra again, and uh, this time we're going to do a features uh, tutorial on the uh, spot-on choreography design system. First, uh, the components of the system are the designer ring, the waypoints, the HUD, and the mover. And uh, the HUD if you're going to wear the Performance Director HUD or Smooth Dancer or some other HUD that you can command your movers with, you don't really need to use this little HUD. But it's helpful when you're designing and it's great for um, modeling uh, on models on runways and actors and, and stuff like that. But I'll show you how to use this. So the components of the, of the ring will go through first. Um, of course, left clicking the ring, or when you drag it out of your inventory, at first uh, a fresh ring, you're going to get that pop up uh, requesting permission, and you must say yes. If you don't say yes, uh, nothing's going to happen. So you get your ring, you set it up. Um, this is the design that I put out for uh, the first video, and I'm just going to use this one. So I left click the ring and I get my menu. And we've already seen adding a waypoint. If I add the waypoint, it's going to pop out close to the end to the last waypoint, like, like so. So it comes out close to the last one. I'm just going to delete that waypoint. By the way, never delete a waypoint by a regular delete. You have to actually use the menu. So I'm going to click uh, the menu and let me see if I can bring that in more and then choose delete waypoint. So that's add waypoint. Um, let me just move this window out because there we go. All right. Um, and get note card you've already seen um, in the first video get note card. I'll show you that again. It's just going to dump uh, the coordinates in chat and you press Control H uh, to open up chat and there it is and you're going to copy from begin note card to end note card and copy and paste that into the mover movement card and that's your route. Now anytime you make a change here, if you're changing the times um, or pause times or distance or you move them around, you need to do a new get, code, get note card and put that in the mover. Okay, so um, we have uh, particles. I'm not going to go through these in order because um, but I will hit all of them. Particles if I turn on particles and pick a color, it's just going to show me the route and this is really helpful when you have um, a lot of people on stage and you have a lot of uh, rings out there with a bunch of waypoints and all different colors. Who, who knows who's, who belongs to what? So turning on particles and make them, um, making them different colors uh, can help. So I'm just, you click particles again and hit off to turn it off. Another feature is we have a set prefix and delete prefix. This is also useful when you have a lot of routes. So if you have, um, you know, two or three people and you want to make sure that um, your in your design phase that you're working on the correct one, I can set a prefix on here, say this one's mine, and if there was another one over here uh, and say um, rug is on that one and I want to make sure that I'm looking at the correct ones, I can say set prefix and then this dialog box pops up and I can put um, gal submit and now after the waypoint word comes gal 1, gal 2, gal 3, gal 4. On rugs I could put an rugs name and it'll be rug 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
whatever. So then it goes, um, just gives us a name or whatever if you want to make it B1, C3, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. It's just, um, it's there. Not a lot of people use it, but um, it's helpful. So I'm going to turn that off by clicking delete prefix. And um, another feature is to res the mover and it reses the mover exactly in the center of the ring and um, <clears throat> in the proper rotation. We've already seen that in the first video too. And all right, let's do hide waypoints. Say you have a lot of waypoints out there on the stage and you want to look at the overall, you're, you're testing your dance, you're testing your route, and you don't want this mess of waypoints showing on the stage, you can just simply click the ring and choose hide waypoints. They're still there. If you type uh, Control alt t and you see the uh, transparent items, you see them still there. So that's just to clear up the stage so you can see what you're doing. And now turning them back on, you click the ring again and choose show waypoints. So the last two are pretty cool. Um, well, the last three. So if I wanted to say I had uh, somebody who is dancing next to me, oops, control Z to go back, Ooh. control Z to go back, I also want to take my mover with me. So, and I drag this over there, and now I want somebody to be dancing on the side of me and mirroring my route. So I want to copy this, and I'm going to clone it. And how I'm going to do that is edit the ring, I don't need the mover. I was just moving the mover for that position. So I hold the hold shift key down, grab the green arrow, and drag it over. Notice I get a pop-up over here again because it's another ring and I have to say yes. Now keep in mind that um, SL in their infinite wisdom does not keep the original here and the copy there. You might think that it's, it would make sense to do that. No, the original is right here and the copy is left there. So now I want this to be mirroring that. So I'm going to, whoops, let's close that menu. Click the menu and say mirror. So now it has mirrored the path. And it mirrors on the Y axis. If I hold, uh, if I edit um, the ring or the waypoint or anything, you see the Y is the green, which means left and right. So it mirrors on the side. It always mirrors on the Y axis. So now I need to get this route and put that in a mover. I'll res a mover and then click the ring again, get note card. Get my chat. Put that in the movement card. And now they should be exactly the same when I press play. Oops, when I press play. There we go. So that's cloning and mirroring. We do have a, um, a as I said in the previous video, you don't need the rings and the waypoints on stage during your show. They are only for the design process. So what you're going to do is you need to, if you are building here and you have to take your movers to a show or somebody else's building or you're 
at the show, you need to know exactly where to res your movers. Uh, we do have a product for that, two products actually, uh, that tells your movers where to go exactly, but um, unless you use the performance director or the stage manager, you're going to have to know where to place your movers. You don't pick your rings up. Um, all you do is you pick up your movers and take them um, to the uh, place. So just be careful about placement. Maybe uh, you could put a marker on the stage or something like that to let you know the rotation and um, spot that your movers have to go. But say you have um, you're done with your your rings here. So you can get rid of the menu. You can reset the ring. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to reset and all data will be lost? Yes. So there it goes. It goes in. I'm going to reset this one. But all data is truly not lost because the data now is in the movers. So if I wanted to, say I did a show two weeks ago and I want to use that same route but I want to edit that route, I have my movers in my inventory. These are copyable, copyable by the way, so if I pick one up and take it in and then res it again, I still have the original one in the folder. You can rename them to whatever you want, uh, you know, hopefully something that um, makes sense to you that you can find later. But say I want this route again and I want to work on it and change it. So I'm going to get the route from the note card in the mover. I can either take that route, that uh, movement card, and drag it into the ring, or I can just do what I just did opened, open the mover, get a uh, copy the text and there is a note card inside the ring a blank one and you can just paste it in there and now I'm going to tell the ring left click the ring and I'm going to tell it to read card so now it's reading the information that I just put in it and it's putting out the waypoints there you go. So now I can work on my, I can change my my route and do whatever I need to do to it and then get a new note card reflecting the changes. So those are the features of the the ring itself. The features of the waypoints are, we already went through a little bit of them, um, where you can set the time and I have a two second time here um, from the start position to this one and I had two from waypoint one to waypoint two. I can always go back and change the time and I can make the, the time 2.65 if if I want. You can you can get into decimal points in there. But anytime you make a change, make sure to get new note card to put in your mover. So there I have that time. Now say I want to uh, I want a sleep time here and um, we went through this a little bit so I'm going to go through this quickly and I want to sleep uh, um, three seconds. That just means when it gets to that waypoint it's going to pause for th three seconds and then go on. Um, uh, on two here um, I want to explain what auto pause is. Auto pause and sleep time are two different things. Uh, the sleep time is a timed, like I just said, it, it'll stay there for three seconds. It's timed, uh, set by you, and then it automatically goes on. If I put an auto pause, auto pause is a toggle on or off. So I'm going to put, click auto pause and then on or off. So auto pause. On. and you see over top of the waypoint it says auto pauses on. What that means is that when I get to that waypoint I'm just gonna stop 
if I'm doing a dance from a HUD or something, I'm still going to be doing that dance. It's just that my movement has stopped and it will not go again unless I press play. Now, if I'm wearing this little HUD and not using Performance Director or something, I have to press play again on this HUD. And I will show you that. Let's get a new note card. put it in the mover when you close it it resets itself so now if I hop on and I press play I get to the first one pause for three seconds then I go on and now I'm just here and I'm going to stay here until I press play and then I move on so that's how that works I'm going to hit reset there now this pause button here does something similar but when I hit pause I can hit pause anywhere and that and it will pause at the next waypoint it reaches so I'm going to try to do that when I get to the green one number three so I'm going to play. There's the three seconds. Now I'm just going to go on again. Now if I hit pause, I am pausing until I hit play again. So several different ways that you can use um, pause. Sleep time, auto pause, and the pause on the HUD. You can also issue these commands from Performance Director. So uh, the other uh, features on the waypoints are you can add a chat channel to the waypoint. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, you can delete a waypoint or add a waypoint before. So when we add a new waypoint from either the uh, waypoint menu or the designer ring menu, the next one comes out slightly um, uh, away from the last one with one exception. And the exception is, is when you want an, to add a waypoint before. So say I want between two and three here, I want another waypoint. So if I click number three and say, let me make sure I got that one, click number three and say add waypoint before, here's where it goes back in the ring and they get renumbered. So my new waypoint number three is back here. So I need to get that out and move that into position. Let me just put it up there a little bit and then I will turn this one. Remember facing in the direction that you're that you want to face moving to it. So now I have a new number three and four and five are renumbered. So that is add waypoint before. Delete waypoint is just that. You click the waypoint you want to delete and then choose that on the menu. So now let me just adjust this one again. Edit linked. Whoops. There we go. we have a chat channel so you can make your waypoints issue a command to something or to actually say something in open chat open chat is on channel zero so if I want to issue a, a line of chat 
in on channel zero to the audience when I reach this point I can I can set that here by going to chat channel and I'll put zero which is open chat now I click it again and do chat it says comma because command couldn't fit chat command so this is the box this is the dialog box that I want to type in um, that is the chat that the people are going to see and I'm gonna say thank you for coming enjoy the veal okay submit so it says it over the waypoint and the, remember the waypoint does not need to be here when you do your show because that information right there will be in your mover so let's do another get note card to reflect those changes and you can even see the chat here when I plug it in so there is on channel zero and there's my command if you need to edit the text or anything you can do that right there in the note card so hopefully this will come up in uh, chat but my window isn't far enough down so when I press play my auto pause I'm gonna press play again so when I got there oh <laughs> I have unavailable on so I'm not going to be able to see it until I turn unavailable off but trust me it's there it it, it will show up in chat and everyone will see it or you can send a command to an object from there so I have this box here and the box is on channel, channel 23 let's try that uh, my chat channel is going to be 23 and my chat command is going to be open. Let's go back, get another note card. So now when I reach waypoint three, that command is going to be issued on channel 3 or 23 no one else is going to be able to see it but what will see it is my box here and my box should react there we go so it commanded the box to open and so there's even a way that you can send um, private emotes to people uh, using the performance director HUD so alright okay so that's it for the waypoint uh, features the last one I want to talk about is the HUD features and I said some already um, that the um, the play pause and reset are the command so if you were sending a command from a HUD it would be whatever channel you're gonna put the mover on and play or pause or reset this little blue circle up here um, if you're again if you're not using uh, uh, one of our dance HUDs you can have up to 10 
note cards inside your mover. Uh, you can have 10 different songs or 10 different um, uh, routes in there and this is kind of, this is great for modeling fashion shows as well. They might have different walks. They could have double walks um, and each of their movers will be on a certain channel. So they would load the card. So if, if I had two or three in here I would just click this and then I would get a menu of the three cards that were in there and I would pick which one I want to load because if you don't choose the card you want to load the mover is going to play the first one it sees in there and that's alphabetical order so you you want to use more than one the proper one needs to be loaded also um, this does have a channel you can um, put a channel on here inside the HUD is um, just a blank note card called channel and let's see I just want to make this channel 15 and inside my mover and we're going to talk about um, mover parameters in a, in a separate video but just real quick, if I wanted to set the mover on channel 15, say I wanted to issue a command to, for this mover later on to do something, then I could do at user channel 15. And that assigns channel 15 and that HUD will, will play channel 15. So some like uh, fashion shows or something like that, they'll have a bunch of girls and they'll all be on different channels. And so when they press, press play on um, only channel 15 is moving. You see what I mean? So um, that is it for the uh, features for the designer ring, the waypoints, and the um, HUD. The next one will be on mover and mover parameters and still I'm going to attempt to do one for using choreography system with the performance director HUD. It's kinda difficult because it's um, a lot of note cards and so I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.